So now let's talk about the fundamental chemical laws. The three laws are number one, law of conservation of mass by Antoine Lavoisier. Number two, law of definite proportions by Joseph Proust. And number three is the law of multiple proportions by John Dalton. So itong law of conservation of mass, we are very familiar with this. Ito yung mass can neither be created nor destroyed. So you cannot create something out of nothing and you must start and end with the same amount of mass. Okay, so I will assume okay na tayo dito. The second one is the law of definite proportions by Joseph Proust. He said that a given chemical compound always contains the same elements in the exact same proportions by mass. So for example, may H2O ka. So for hydrogen, you have two atoms and for oxygen, you have one atom. Meaning to say, in any sample of water, 2 is to 1 yung ratio ni hydrogen atoms to oxygen atoms. Now, the same concept applies to the mass as per the law of definite proportions. So, di ba for hydrogen, may 2 AMU ka. And for oxygen is 16 AMU. So, wait lang. Saan ba to galing na values, ma'am? So, yung 2, di ba 1 AMU ang mass ni hydrogen times 2, kasi 2 atoms, so 2 MU. While well, yung 60 naman isang mass ni oxygen kung titignan nyo sa periodic table and times 1 lang kasi 1 atom lang siya. So dividing 2 over 16, you get 1 over 8 or 1 is to 8. So itong 1 is to 8, ito yung mass ratio ni hydrogen to oxygen. This means that in any sample of water, yung mass of oxygen is 8 times that of the mass of hydrogen. Or another way of saying it, is that in any sample of water, it contains 11.11% .11 hydrogen and 88.89% oxygen by mass. The last one is the law of multiple proportions by John Dalton. So sabi niya, whenever the same two elements form more than one compound, the different masses of one element that combine with the same mass of the other element are in the ratio of small whole numbers. Medyo complicated, pero let's break it down. So, whenever the same two elements, that's element A and B, form more than one compound, so say, for example, compound AB and AB2, the different masses of one element that combine with the same mass of the other element, so sabi niya, may isang element daw na different masses, in this case, element B, and yung other element, which is in this case element A, ay same or fixed yung mass niya. Okay? Are in the ratio of small whole numbers. So finally, kapag yung element with a different mass, si element B, ay kukunin natin yung ratio. Ang ratio daw niya ay small whole numbers. So let's repeat. If elements A and B react to form two compounds, AB and AB2, the different masses of B that combines with the fixed mass of A can be expressed as a ratio of small whole numbers. So for example, my elements ka na C and O, carbon and oxygen. Tapos combine mo sila to form carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. And let's say, yung carbon mo is 1 gram. Ibig sabihin, you need 1.33 grams of oxygen to form carbon monoxide. And on the other hand, you need 2.66 grams of oxygen to form carbon dioxide. So, itong mga values na to, these are computed values ha. So, yung solutions niya is ito. So, next is, if you are to take the ratio of 2.66 and 1.33, yung ratio na makukuha mo is 2, which is a small whole number.